Hello, in this video we are going to take a look of how you can install Plausible Analytics on uh, your own VPS with just one click. To do that we are going to use Qualify, which is an uh, open source Heroku or Netlify alternative that can help you host various things. So the first thing that we will need to, to have is to have a VPS with uh, Qualify installed. I will let a link into the description with the first step. Basically, to install Qualify, you just need to run this command and that's it. But you can find all the details in the description. Second thing that uh, needs to be done is to have Cloudflare point to our uh, Qualify installation. So I have uh, in here the DNS, which is Cloudflare, and uh, we can go and take the IP address of this. So um, I have a server that has this IP address. What I can do, I will add the record and create a subdomain. You can use a domain if you want. The same thing it will apply. For instance, I will create a subdomain with plausible. I will put the IP address in here. I will not proxy it. I will save it. And right now, our subdomain is pointing to the Gullify. So the next thing that uh, we need to is to go and deploy this so create a new resource in here you have the service and uh, in this area you see that we have multiple things and what we need to do is to click on this thing plausible analytics and this will open up the window with the configuration where we can configure so in here you have the name so we'll add Plausible in the name version tag. You can choose the version. I will add the latest version. The URL is the subdomain that we've created. So HTTPS plausible dot bitdoze dot com. It will generate the SSL for us. This uh, it's not needed because we're in a subdomain. In case you're using a domain, you want to generate a server for a www and non www version, depending on what you have. Expose port, we don't need that because we are going to the default port. And in here you have the you have the details that you need to configure, the email address. This is the email address that uh, Plausible will use. Admin username and in here admin password will change this from the secrets. Base URL it will uh, be the same as the URL that we entered. Authentication. I will enable authentication for this. You see that this thing reset it, so we need to change this back. Registrations, I will disable registrations. Let me change this thing back. Okay. Here is the Postgres SQL details, click house. So I will let this thing as default. So what I will do right now, I will just save this. So this configuration is to, to be saved. And uh, if we go to secrets, in this area, you see that uh, you have the passwords and the other things that are hidden. If we go in here, you can modify them. You can change them if you want. You can add new things. So for instance, uh, Plausible has a configuration file you see in here that you can use to enable various things. For instance, you can add this in SMTP, you can enable the Google console integration and things things like that. Uh, to, For instance, to use a SMTP server, you just need to go and uh, add your SMTP details. Like this, I've created a list in here. I will not add anything uh, that it's working. But I've tested and everything it's working and you can put everything in here. And uh, if you add secret in batch, it will add these details for you in, in here. You can add them also one by one if you want, it's up to you. In here you can add the details. So in this area, like in the persistent volume, you have the volume that will create. You have the Postgres and ClickHouse volumes. So this uh, in case we deploy this, it will use these volumes in the in the future. So here the data will be stored for the databases. And then right now, after you configure everything, the only thing that you need to do is to hit the deploy. 
and uh, it will pull the images and it will deploy analytics for you. So let's uh, wait and see. So in here in the logs in services, you will have the the logs with what was happening. You see like if you click the plausible analytics, you will have the logs with what the Docker did. The same in this area and click house the same. So these are the three containing, three containers. So this thing, it will take uh, like uh, two minutes to configure. So we will go and uh, access the pausible and see what is happening. Okay. Let's see. So you see in here that uh, right now, first it will be prompting you to create a user. Uh, full name, I'll put Ragush. Email, I'll put something that doesn't exist here, put a password. Okay, and let's create the first account. Okay, so right now we have the account created and here for instance you can add your domains. Choose a time zone. So you see that right now on the website it's added. You can go and into the settings to pull out the scripts that you need to add in the in the website that you've added in here and you have all the settings and things right right that if we log out. If we hit login, you see that it worked and we have the website in here. This is the default interface. You see that this it's working quite good. If a version it's coming in here, you can uh, configure configure it to use the latest version, redeploy this. And yeah, this is how you install plausible analytics with the app of Qualify. I hope you enjoyed the the video and help you easily install plausible. Thanks for watching and uh, have a nice day.